In this video, I'm gonna show you the entire process on how we clean fab fabric material. That's gonna be carpets, floor mats, and carpeting. In this specific video, we're primarily focused on the seats, but you're gonna apply the exact same process across mostly all fabric materials. Now, if you don't wanna watch the whole video, but wanna know the exact process, here is a quick recap. First, we have to remove all the debris from all the surfaces, so we're gonna blow everything out to vacuum and make sure everything is good to go. Next, we're gonna use two products. We're gonna have Flex Powder in our pump sprayer as our carpet crease spray, and then Flex Rinse, which will be in our extractor. We're gonna put it, we're gonna use our pump sprayer and pre-spray the seats, carpeting, and floor mats, whatever you're working on. Next, we're gonna agitate with a brush, and third is we're gonna extract with the machine. Now all the links to all the tools and products that we're using will be linked down in the description box down below, but that is a quick recap of the process. Now you can click off the video, you pretty much know the process, but if you want a more in-depth look of how we do things, of how we use the machines, of where we do what and how we do what, then watch the rest of the video. And if you can't tell, I'm wearing yet the other color for the Detail Brew shirt that will be dropping on February 19th. So if you want to buy a shirt, that will be on February 19th. I'll let you know where exactly to purchase them, but this is just the other color to the shirts that I am uh, releasing. And last bit of news is that my new beginner level course, uh, No Talk, Just Action, is actually open right now for enrollment. If you want to make your first $500 to $1,000 in less than 60 days with your detailing business, you can click the link down below in the description box to find out more about that. It closes on the 9th, which is on uh, Tuesday or Wednesday. So if you're interested in that, I highly check it out if you're a beginner starting your detailing business. Okay, so for the rest of the video, I wanna show you in real time what we do and how we do things. So I'm not gonna speed up the actual process that we're doing. That way you just get a bit of visual representation of like how fast we move or how we do things. And hopefully just it gives you a better understanding of how to clean your seats or how to implement what we're doing into your operation. So first step, I just released a, a recent video on this. We're gonna use our Vortex cleaning gun with our vacuum and our drill brushes with the uh, red cone. Again, everything will be linked down below. And we're gonna go through the entire interior and we're gonna make sure we loosen, remove as much of the debris that we can. I wanna say up to 90% we're removing from the interior. That's gonna be from all surfaces, not just the, the floor mats or the seats, but all the, all the, um, the plastic areas, the headliner, areas you can't see, we're gonna just blow everything out. That way we know when we start agitating and extracting, everything for the most part is going to be clean and ready to work on. Now, since we have multiple people working on this vehicle, we're gonna run things a little bit different than if you're working on your own. That's okay, just make it fit how you can to your operations. But while um, the last person is vacuuming and finishing up the last vacuuming touches, Lex will go ahead and pre-fill the extractor. I'll let him show you what he's doing right now. So what are you doing here? I'm refilling this with water. I'm gonna pre-mix my rinse solution for the extractor. I thought we carried our own water. We do, but I'm out of water. This is our rinse solution that goes in the extractor basin. So I'm gonna pre-mix that jug and pour it back in here. One ounce for five gallons of water. 
talk about profitability. <laughs> I already say. <laughs> now that removing the debris is almost complete, we'll go ahead and preheat the extractor. That way, while we're pre-spraying and agitating, the extractor is already getting ready. So once we're actually done with the agitating, we can just go and grab the extractor and get straight to work. versus completing the agitation first and then waiting for the extractor to heat up and then there's gonna be like some downtime of nothing happening. So you wanna be uh, proactive with your system and you wanna make sure that you're getting what needs to be ready. That way, when it's time to get to it, you can just grab it and get to work versus waiting for it to be ready and then getting to work. Now we're using two primary chemicals, Flex Powder, that's gonna go in our pump sprayer as our pre-spray and then we're gonna use Flex Rinse which goes in the extractor to neutralize what to neutralize the pH level of the uh, flex powder. Now, I will keep on saying this video after video. If you're doing interiors, you have to be using a pump sprayer, not a spray bottle. It is a huge difference in the impact or the workflow that you can put in with a pump sprayer versus a spray bottle. Doing this action a thousand times on the seats versus just pulling the trigger and letting it spray across the seats are a complete difference in terms of efficiency. Yes, you gotta pump it up, but we, we probably pump up the pump sprayer, pump up the pump sprayer. Uh, we only pump up the pump sprayer maybe twice in the entire time that we're, that we're working on the interior. Meaning that two pumps, two separate pumps, will do all seats, all floor mats, all carpeting. Depends, but for the most part, it's not like we're pumping it every single time. You pump it up once to the max, and it'll get you pretty far. I mean, look how easy it is to spray down the seat. When you're not there pulling the trigger a thousand times trying to saturate the area, you just pump it up once and you just very easily, very smoothly spray the cleaner onto the surfaces. It is super easy. Now it's up to you whether you want to spray all the seats and then go and agitate all of them. In this scenario, we're going to spray one seed, agitate. We're going to jump to the back side, spray all the seats, then agitate. But we kind of flip flop between the two where we go through the entire interior spray down and then agitate or spray a seat, agitate, spray seats, agitate, spray seat, agitate. You, you know, try which one you, you like best and just keep on going with that one. But really, we don't, you know, there's, there's not much of an impact on when we do it. Maybe it depends on like the weather or, you know, how, so where someone is at in the process. But for the most part, we use both and they both come up with the same results. Now, I don't think I need to tell you, but buying a drill is going to make things so much easier. You buy the drill and you, you buy the brush. Now you have a drill brush and that's going to make things so much easier for you to agitate the seats versus manually agitating with your hand. You get way more tired, you get fatigued, you won't have the same pressure throughout the entire vehicle. So if you can, go ahead and purchase a drill, everything will link down below, buy the drill attachment and things will be so much easier for you. We do have the upgraded batteries on these and they are way better than the standard ones that the drill comes with, but that's besides the fact that's just a little tip that we're adding. Um, but if, you know, use those, use the, use those um, default batteries as long as you can. But it makes, again, a world of difference between agitating manually by hand versus a drill brush.
And lastly, now that we've vacuumed everything, blown everything out, we've pre-sprayed, we've agitated all the seeds, it's all ready to go. The last step is now that the, the extractor is heated up, it's ready to go, now we're going to extract the seeds. This is the last part of the process, of the three part process. And here, this is where we're using the Sapphire Upholstery Tool. This is a much different tool than what you find on the Mighty Default one or the, the OEM or the default wand that they give you. Um, I'll make another video on this wand, but it makes cleaning the fabric material much more efficient and it makes the drying time, it decreases the drying time because less water is being put into the seats and the suction is much stronger then the default wand that, that mighty or whatever upholstery tool or whatever extractor you're using it's much faster with this tool versus the one where just like it shoots water and it sucks it up at the same time it's a difference in that as well so i'll make a separate video on this one but here's that extraction process Now the biggest feature to this one is that it always keeps on working. You don't have to release a trigger at any point. Whether you're going up, down, it is always ejecting water and sucking it up at the same time. And the biggest benefit to this is that it's not putting down as much water into the fabric material, which means it's not gonna take as long as time to dry once you're all done. So we'll literally just pull the trigger the entire time. It never comes off the surface and you can work much more efficient, efficiently versus the other type of wand where you have to jump forward, pull it back, jump forward, pull it back, jump forward, pull it back, and then you have to suck up the excess that falls from the sides. This wand eliminates all of that. Now a lot of times we're able to do the entire interior without refilling the tank. The tank holds around five gallons, but if we do need to refill it, it's super easy. We just have to drain out the water, refill it, and we're ready to go. And this is what the draining looks like. Now we'll just keep on extracting all the floor mats, all the seats and then we'll put it to dry. We'll use the air mover, again, I'll link it down below because I honestly don't even know the name of it, and we'll set it to dry. Unfortunately, I don't have the afters because I have to leave the job site before it was complete, so I don't have any afters, but this is literally the exact process that we do on all fabric material. It's the exact same thing, the pump sprayers, the chemicals, the extractor, the, the sapphire tool, we'll use the exact same system on all types of interiors, fabric materials. If you have any comments, questions, concerns about the system or you want to learn more about anything, let me know and I'll make a video on it at some point. I want to make the next, or not next video, but a video soon on the difference between the Mighty Extractor, the Mighty Wand, and the Sapphire Wand because that's a huge difference in how we do interiors. Other than that, again, these shirts will be released on February 19th, a very limited supply. And if you want to check out my beginner level course, No Talk, Just Action, to make your first $500 to $1,000 in revenue in less than 60 days with your detailing business, you can check all that down below in the description box. Other than that, I hopefully I covered everything that you want. Hopefully I did a decent job explaining how we do it, and I'll see you on the next one.